former substitute teacher now in jail tonight on federal child sex crime charges. Good evening, everyone. I'm Russ Bowen. I'm Angela Taylor. Cumberland County Schools tell CBS 17 that Donald Hoggard worked for the district from 2015 to 2017. Investigators say they found inappropriate pictures and videos involving children. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer is live tonight getting answers about the investigation. Kayla. Yeah, so the school district is saying they can't comment on details of his personnel file, but they do tell me that he was never suspended while working here. I asked what kind of protocols are in place to make sure that employees are being properly screened and students are safe. They declined any on-camera interview, but they do tell me that background checks are done on all employees working in Cumberland County Schools. Donald Hoggard was arrested at this Spring Lake apartment Tuesday morning. Hoggard faces five counts of second degree sexual exploitation of a minor, which I've learned involves child pornography. Harnett County Sheriff Wayne Coates says Homeland Security requested their help with this case. Prior to this, Hoggard has no known criminal history here. As far as we know right now, there's no indication that any children in Harnett County uh, or any victims at this time. The arrest report lists Hoggard's occupation as a substitute teacher for Cumberland County Schools. The district says he was a sub from December 10th, 2015 until October 20th, 2017. He has no record of any suspension with the district. Assistant Superintendent Lindsay Whitley says, quote, the school system conducts extensive background checks on all employees, including substitute teachers. Sheriff Coates says this this case remains under investigation and is asking for the public's help in reporting any relevant information to their office. My heart goes out to these children and their families. Um, and anytime we can get them off the street, I'll take help from anywhere. Yeah, and again, the district says the suspect stopped working here two years ago, and I just checked with the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office. They said they also do not have a criminal record involving this suspect. He is in the Harnett County Jail right now on a $150,000 bond. Reporting live in Cumberland County, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.